Hello everyone, it's Helder here, and today I wanted to go ahead and review this uh, Paracord bracelet uh, that has uh, all sorts of uh, extra features, and it's uh, made by Off Grid Gear. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't usually review uh, these type of Paracord bracelets. I just, most of the time, they're kind of inferior, uh, fall apart on the uh, first day of use usually while I'm reviewing it. So those reviews usually do not go uh, live. But I was uh, pretty impressed with this one, and I want to go ahead and share some of the uh, features with you, and you can see why I uh, think that this bracelet's a little different and uh, good to go. So the first feature itself is actually the paracord. It comes with 12 feet of paracord. I opted for the uh, desert, desert camo pattern, but it does come with, I think, three or four uh, different choices that you can uh, pick as far as color and pattern and I will put all that information in a blog post uh, as usual along with uh, a bunch of other specifications uh, Those of you that aren't familiar with paracord I recently reviewed uh, paracord and I will put a link in the blog post to that also so that you can get a lot more detail and get more familiar with paracord if you're not familiar with it uh, Once again, this is 12 feet inside of each one individual course uh, cordage. There's going to be another four to eight strands so you're actually getting a heck of a lot more rope uh, than the 12 feet and that's uh, one of the advantages of uh, carrying paracord with you another cool feature is this little waterproof compass uh, that it comes with and I went ahead and uh, tested it pretty much with uh, my silver compass and uh, it was pretty good to go all right I want you to keep in mind that there is some metal over here all right metal magnetized doesn't really go together so we really want to make sure that we get that away and once we get that away everything tends to line up much better also went ahead and tested it with my Garmin uh, GPS I don't know if you could even see the reading on there probably not it's kind of dark but uh, you can trust me on it that it is good to go so in a survival situation you need to use this little compass get it the hell off of there all right, you're going to have much more success than putting it next to any type of metal, especially in a survival situation. If you're trying to do any kind of dead reckoning, you might not have a map to be able to orient yourself. So you need as many, as many things as possible going in your favor. And that kind of goes for any of the cool little features that's on here. You know, if you want to look cool, wear it on your wrist, survival situation, take it apart. Another uh, cool little feature that this one has, and as I stated earlier, I don't like to review these things because a lot of times it's just this Mickey Mouse type garbage that uh, doesn't work. You know, the idea is there, but the practical application is not. Well, with this one, like I said, I was pretty impressed. So this thing is actually a whistle. All right. So not only is it a fastener or clip, but it's also a whistle and it's pretty damn loud. All right. I'll go ahead and uh, give a, uh, a couple whistles out of here. All right, pretty loud on my end. Hopefully that conveys over through the speaker. I'll be honest with you, I have my neighbors staring at me and my dogs are wondering what the hell is going on. Now another feature here, and the one that, uh, that I really dug and found that it was cool, is it comes with this uh, flint and steel. Okay, so you have your flint here, or your ferro rod, right, little one. And you have your scraper, and check this out, the scraper actually pulls out. So they call it a scraper knife or whatever, but it just actually fits pretty damn well for something that's so small. I mean, those of you that uh, have been following me for a while uh, know that I always prefer a ferro rod, have one in my go bags. Uh, they're all good to go. And uh, But in a pinch, you know, remember, this isn't the first thing that I'm going to go to. This will be the last thing in my go bag that I go to in an emergency situation. And that's why it's nice to just have it as an extra thing. The way we carry extra matches, might carry an extra blade. Um, you know, things, uh, things of uh, that nature, right? That it's gonna try to help prepare our success or make us more successful. So what the cool thing about this is you have your flint here and your steel and just the way that this fits right in and able to, to, to be able to remove actually, uh, you know, from the buckle itself. I think that's just a pretty cool feature and it does work. Uh, and I will definitely show you <laughs> that it does work and one thing to keep in mind just like uh, any other flints this comes with a bit of lacquer or paint so make sure you go ahead and scrape that all off before you do use it as a fire starter all right the bracelet itself is approximately let's say 10 inches long is what i'm getting here all right so keep that in mind uh, as far as being able to measure your wrist and know exactly how it's going to fit 
Um, to be honest with you, this would be something that I would not wear on my wrist. There's just too much things going on. And I look at this as almost its own little mini survival kit. So for my purposes, I'm always uh, attaching, as you can tell, I have some here and I have them on all my, uh, my go bags. And uh, especially with the, uh, the Molly setup, which they all have Molly setups on there. And I go ahead and clip it to my pack. And that's where I'm going to keep it, right? So I have all these little extra things uh, just in case I don't have my uh, compass, you know, for whatever, got misplaced, lost it, didn't bring it, whatever the case may be. Uh, the flint and steel whistle, extra power cord that you could just never have enough when you're in the field, especially if it is your primary uh, emergency bag or go bag or survival type kit. All right, if we were to uh, go ahead and see how this would measure up for those of you that might want to wear it um, on your wrist, I'll go ahead and try to put this on real quick with the camera being in the way all right so you can tell compared to the other one that i have it's a much flatter surface which some people might like once again it's all about preference and how it's going to fit on you all right i don't have a uh, huge wrists so to speak and this just happens to be kind of a perfect fit so make sure that uh if you do plan on wearing it uh, which I don't suggest, especially for my active lifestyle. The last thing I want to do is have little things uh, hanging off. Once again, prefer the Molly setup. But once again, just trying to give you as many options as possible so that you can uh, decide if this is a good, uh, viable option for you. So in summing this review up, our uh, cool little paracord bracelet survival kit itself has some very key features in here um, that besides, of course, the uh, paracord itself that you might want to consider uh, having one of these and affixing it to your Molly gear on your pack, on your body vest, uh, age harnesses, anything like that. And even on the inside, throw it on your backpack. You never know when you're going to be able to, uh, to need it. Last thing that I want to leave you with, cool little feature here, and you know I need to be thorough, and it's an actual uh, bottle opener. And uh, since we have Paul in our Natural Training Center tribe, who brews beer and brewed this uh, awesome IPA beer for me. I'm gonna go ahead and being the thorough reviewer, the reviewer that I am, make sure that everything works. And at the same time, I wanna make sure that I don't taint the beer by using this type of bottle opener. Cheers, my friends. I hope that you enjoyed this review.